Since losing his legs to an IED in 2007, Colonel Greg Gasson has been the role model for wounded warriors who want to adapt and overcome their injuries. But recently, he tried out for a different role. Our medical editor, Dr. Paul Little, has the story. Colonel Greg Gadsden lost both legs to an IED in Iraq in 2007, but he quickly moved from the role of patient at Walter Reed Army Medical Center to the role of director of the Army's Wounded Warrior Program and was one of the first soldiers to be fitted with motorized prosthetic legs. And now he's taking over at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, as the first wounded warrior to command an Army post. Whatever I've done to reach this point in my career is more a testament to the soldiers, leaders, and employees from which I've served, and certainly the patience and support of my family. You know, I think it's kind of born out of, you know, you just have to keep moving forward. You can't, you can't rest on what you've done in the past. You know, the past never gets anything done in the future. So, so you gotta always continue to push yourself, continue to grow, continue to strive to be better. And, 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 and uh, you know, trust me, I, fall, I probably fall short of that more often than I care to admit, but, but, uh, but I'm trying. Gadsden says new technology is not just about keeping soldiers alive who would have otherwise died on the battlefield, but it's also about enhancing their quality of life after they get injured. I mean, I'm, I'm here on active duty, continuing to serve five years after being wounded with, uh, with serious injuries, and, and I have, you know, mobility options that allow me to do my job. Taylor, go, jump! Got it, Chief. Good. Hollywood director Peter Berg was so impressed with Gadsden's can-do attitude that he cast him in a major role in Battleship. Mick Canales is a Special Forces Army officer and in, as a result of his wounds lost both of his legs above the knee and so uh, that's a character that I can't identify with. The alien invasion happens and um, and it, it it puts me in my element. It, it brings me back to the, the warrior that I used to be. Did the Army feel pretty good about you, you doing that? You know, I hope so. I, all the feedback I've gotten has, has, been, uh, has been very positive, and, and it was one of those you know, once-in-a-lifetime things, and, and I just feel real fortunate and blessed that the, that the Army and the Army's leadership um, allowed me to participate in the project. Colonel Greg Edson, you're still a great soldier and a great inspirer to everybody. Not, not just wounded warriors, but everybody. Hey, thanks, sir.